and welcome to the replay. Are you guys hello hello <sighs> sorry I was not on last night I was doing some team things how was everybody's night let's see who all is here hi Catherine hi Judy hi Tamitha hi Jan hi Gabriella hi Melissa hi Angela hi Kelly hi Gabriella hi Jen Gentry hi Sharon hi Wendy hi Laura how are you guys? As you are coming in, bottom left-hand side of your mobile device is that share button. I would love it if you guys would click share. Hey, girl, hey. Tonight, I have a super fun project. I cannot even wait to get started. Hi, Stacy. Um, I am minorly obsessed with the bee's knees now. Um, I have some really cute ideas that I plan to do. Hi, Kat. Hi, oh, hi, Katrina. I was going to call you Katarina. I don't know where that came from. Hi, oh, Wendy. Hi, Kat Harvey. Um, so tonight we're going to play with the bee's knees. Um, I apologize that, um, if I, I'm trying to talk lower, uh, Big Brand is kind of sick. He's got 102.8 fever, so, um, I am going to be checking in on him as soon as I'm done. So I'm going to try to make this a relatively quick live right now. He went to sleep. So, um, yeah. Hi, Tony. Oh, Ken is still live, Angela. Oh my gosh. Hi, Barb. Hi, Tony. Um, yeah, I, um, hi, Mary Bouchard. How are you? Uh, I feel bad. I don't like it when hubby or Bubba gets sick. It kind of breaks my heart and big Branny scares me because he runs very high fevers. Um, very high fevers. Uh, last time he ran like that, it, he, when he, he doesn't rarely get sick. So when he does, it's kind of a big deal. Um, the last time I remember him spiking a crazy high fever, we weren't even living in this house and he got 105.2 fever. So like emergency room right away, like it spiked like that. So I really want to keep my eye on him. So, um, I will be, um, I will be making this super quick tonight. So just so you guys know, I've actually already got my board that I'm going to be working on. It's already been sprayed. I'm going to show you how I clean it real quick. Um, hi, Dawn Marie. How are you? I didn't realize how big the home transfer was. Oh, yeah. The bee's knees is so awesome, Jen. I love it. Um, yeah. Oh, thank you, Katrina. I appreciate that. Thank you, Judy Adams. How are you? I'm loving all your stuff you're posting in the VIP group. Okay. So let's get to this, guys. Um, that way I can go be with him. So I'm going to put a little something up on to the um, board now, uh, so that way you guys can read this on your screen. If you've never watched me and you've never heard of Chalk Couture and you're not working with a designer, or I should say and or and or and or, um, comment a one down below. That way I know and that way I can make sure I'm, I, I, I'm explaining everything properly. So let's go ahead while I get this started. You guys can go ahead and get reading. Um, this is a little crooked. There we go. Okay, let's get me up there. Okay. Cat, no, I think he's I think he's live on uh YouTube that he was a little while ago opening up something. 
Um, I know. Thank you, Jen. That's so sweet. I appreciate it. Thank you, Angela. Thanks, Barb. Yeah, I, I, I was busy doing some team things last night, Lisa, so I wanted to get some things done, and I was having a hard time doing what I needed, and I lost track of time. Um, oh, that's awesome, Judy. I love it. I love it. I love it. So let's get started. So as you can see, well, I'm, I don't know if you guys can really see it in there, but this is all wet. It's I've already sprayed with water. I've got my board eraser. Boy, has this seen better days, but it's still usable. So we're going to come in and we are going to take off the design that was on here. Now, this is our Grayson, our white Grayson 9 by 12 board. Guess what, guys? They finally come back in stock again tomorrow. They have been out of stock since before Christmas. So, um, these boards are so affordable. They are like, they're even cheaper than if you were to go to like the big box stores and use a 50% off coupon. So if you are interested in getting a great board to go ahead and do some chalking designs on, um, you are definitely going to want to consider getting the Grayson board. So Grayson boards come in the nine by 12, which is this, the 12 by 18 and the 18 by 24. Let me put it to you this way. The 18 by 24 is a huge board. It's only $39.99 and there is no shipping premium. How awesome is that? So if you guys are interested in getting your hands on one of these boards, you are totally going to want to check out my store tomorrow. Uh, 9 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. Hi, Allie Davidson. Yeah, no, nah, Kate, no, Kat, definitely not. I don't think it's a team meeting. I think it is, um, I think it's his live. Hi, Allie. Um, thanks, Don Marie. I appreciate it. Yeah, Judy, I was trying to get something done for the team, for the team. Um, and I, it just, it took me a little bit longer to get it done, but I wanted to make sure I had it done and not forgotten about. Hi, Barb. How are you? I love the boards too, Angela. I can't wait to order a bunch of them. Oh, yay, Lisa. I haven't gotten mine yet. I can't wait to get my hands on it. I have some ideas for it. Um, hi, Stacey Pete. Thanks for sharing, Barb. You're so sweet. Oh my gosh. I know, Judy. I still have mine too. It's actually, you guys don't see it, but it's actually right above this hexagon one right here is my Aiden that I got in my kit. It's still part. It works great. I love it. Um, what's the difference between those and the Aiden boards? So Kat, great question. So our Grayson boards are not magnetic boards. The Aiden boards are magnetic porcelain steel boards. Um, they are, um, offer a 50 year warranty on those boards as well on the actual chalkboard itself, not the frame, just the chalkboard. Um, the Grayson boards are great quality. Um, they're very lightweight, which I love because, well, we have plaster walls, so you can't really hang much on them. You have to use the, um, what are they called? Uh, gosh, I'm drawing a blank. Those sticky strip things, command hooks, command strips. That's what I pretty much have to use on a lot of things because as soon as you go to hammer and nail in, you like get a giant hole. So yes, um, it is. It's a, just an embossing gun, Kat uh, Katrina. Um, hi, Darren Lynn. How are you? Hi, Margaret Miller. Yes, agreed, Angela. So do I. Now, here's one thing. Oops, gosh, I have such a glare. I can't even see what's going on with the board. I totally missed a whole area to clean. Now, I'm going to tell you something. Um, let's get the fuzzing towel out because the fuzzing towel is going to help get all the, the gunk off. Where's it at? We have our microfiber side. So there we go. That is what I'm talking about. Oh, I love our fuzzing towels. Um, Oh yeah, look at that. It's like drying right before your eyes. I will tell you, number one, make sure you look at the right side that has the hanger that has the hanging piece. I did not do that on my last one, so I was forced to not hang it up. Um, I just stuck it in a frame. So always make sure of that before you go and get your chalking started. Um, so this time I definitely have it the right way. Um, tonight I'm going to be using a mix of the bees. Obviously we're using the bees knees, but I'm going to be using Sweeter Than Honey and the same one that I used the other night because there's a little piece in here that I want to use. So we're going to be using um, Home is Where the Honey Your Honey Is and Sweeter Than Honey. Those are going to be the two pieces we're going to use tonight. So from the part that I used the other night, we are going to get the little honey wand and the honey jar. Okay. Hi, Carol. Um, use those half round things with a hook at the end. You poke it in your wall and then you don't need a stud. What? Kat, would you mind messaging me a picture of what they are? Because uh, I need them in my life. Um, let's see. Hi, Sandra. Hi, Peach. How are you? 
Hopefully I didn't miss saying hi to anybody else. Um, but please, as soon as you come in, bottom left-hand side of your mobile device is that share button. Please go ahead and click share. Okay, so we're going to use those two pieces out of this one. And for you guys who didn't see my project the other night, here is this one that I did. I used the little bees from the Sweeter Than Honey um, transfer. And then this was Home is Where Your Honey Is. But I just wanted to add some of the little bees into it. Once I get done this whole collection, I'm going to go back in and add some ribbon to it. But I need to see how everything looks first. And then I'll decide where everything's going to go. So I know I'm going to lean this sort of against it. And I know I'm going to do the Honey Bee Farms. And I know I'm going to do Sweeter Than Honey. So this is the way I'm going to have this look. I think it'll be super cute. Oh, I can't wait to do this. Okay, so let's stop the chit-chat and Jess and let's get to work, huh? So the colors I'm going to use tonight are going to be Storm, Bright White. Uh-oh, I froze. Oh, there it goes, Bright White. Bumblebee and Marigold. I'm going to use these four um, so that way... I think they'll turn out, I think these colors will look really good all together. So the Sweeter Than Honey and Honey Bee Farms established 1984. Um, they are going to be, oh darn it. Hold on, I dropped my pen. My marker last night, I forgot about it. Womp womp. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Okay. So this one has not been used yet, and neither have these, so we have to label the back of these. Now, why do we label them? If you read the little description that I threw up while I was getting everything together, you saw that our transfers are reusable over and over and over again. So we want to label the correct side of the carrier sheet so we know the proper way to put these back on. Okay, so I'm just going to say Honey Bee Farms. So that way I know that's this one. I have no clue what this is called. I'm going to call it a wand. Kind of sort of looks like that's me. And then I'm going to name this jar. Okay. So we've got those done. We've got everything all cut out. It's going to just be time to label it up. I think what I'm going to do is maybe start at the top and then go to the very underneath of it. Like do top, bottom, and then do the middle. Okay. Now I'm going to use the fuzzing towel. These fuzzing towels are coming back in stock next week. They're clearing customs today. Hooray. Happy day. Along with a bunch of transfers that are coming back in stock next week as well. So that is a good thing. Now I'm going to go up a little bit higher than what I normally would have done or lined up. That looks like it is actually right where I want it to be. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and I'm going to smooth out and make sure there are no bumps in my silk screen area. I feel some lumps, but it might just be from the fuzz, but from the fuzz, but I want to make sure they're not in the silk screen area. And that 100% is that is going to mess up my S. Oh, you know what? That is chalk paste. Clearly I didn't do a good job of cleaning this. What is wrong with me? Well, we're going to see if I can get it to go through. Whoops, it easy. Sometimes, sometimes I don't pay attention to life. So, hi, Misty. How are you? Thanks for joining. Hi, Jenny Johnson. Sounds like something. Oh, yeah, I do it the wrong way all the time, Judy. I'm telling you. Hi, Paige. Um, hi, Nikki Morris. Hi, Kim. Hello, hello. Honey Dipper. Okay, that makes sense. Hi, Sheree. Um, who knew, right? Who knew that that was an actual name? Hmm. I didn't know. Um, thanks for telling me, guys. Okay, I just sent a picture of the hooks. Yay, thank you, Kat. You are the best. Cannot wait. Cannot wait to see it. All right, so we fuzz this up. I typically like to fuzz like um, two to three times, okay? So I'm thinking that may not be, that's probably going to be a good, that's going to be good placement. Yeah, that looks pretty decent. All right, so I am going to do the Sweeter Than Honey and then Honey Bee Farms Established 1984 in white. I am going to do... Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'll probably do these little doodads in white as well and then Bumblebee for the little flower is what I'm thinking, Okay. Uh, good evening, Sandra. How are you? Let's get out my little my little tray of squeegees and stirry sticks. Now, if you guys have not gotten your hands on some of these tools, 
Ooh, you need to. Um, I will tell you, my Chalkbox subscribers, this month, I think you, I'm hoping you loved your box because you got what I call tools of the trade. Now, as you can see, this is now labeled with Chalk Couture on it. These are, I keep reusing them over and over and over again. Um, we've got plenty of them here. So it's super good. Now I'm going to come in and I'm going to use this um, to stir up my chalk paste to a nice yogurt-like consistency. All right. Now, I just want to come in, mix it all around, make sure it's nice and yogurt-like. I'm shaking the whole table. That is awesome. Okay. Mix up my white. Okay. I'm going to have everything all mixed so it is ready to go. It sounded like I squeezed in a lot of water there. It wasn't squeezing out. So just so you know, I only did a few little squirts. If your chalk paste seems a little clumpy, a few squirts of water, like a quarter teaspoon at a time. Um, you want to do a little less, less is more, and then you keep adding if you need to. Okay. So let's come in and let's chalk. So sweeter than honey, honey bee farms and the little doodads. I'm going to do in white, our bright white chalk paste. It's such a staple guys. Um, and then everything else I will do, or the little flower I will do in a bumblebee. Little chalk paste goes a very long way, guys. You only need a little bit. I have a feeling, though, because I, I don't know what was happening to me when I cleaned this. I think this was when little Billy wanted to play. My sweet little bean nephew. He asked um, if he could help clean, and I'm pretty sure this was the day I said, yeah, you can help me clean. So I may have missed a spot or two because I was having fun with my little dude. Oh, yeah. Sweeter than honey. Whoops. Yeah, that H has a little bit of chalk paste on the back, too. We're going with it. It's fine. I'll clean these really good tonight, though. Uh, hi, Lori. How are you? Thank you for sharing, Peg. Uh, hi, Charlene. I sure can, Judy. Absolutely. Hi, Sheena. How are you? All right. So we have Sweeter Than Honey. We're going to do Honey Bee Farms now and the little doodad things. I'm not really sure what they're called. I'm going to call them a doodad. Sounds like it's a very technical name there, just so we are on the same page, guys. <laughs> This little brand clapping for his Sixers team. Okay. That looks good to me. Let's pull this up now. And remember when you're pulling, you want to pull from the middle. And that way it will help to not stretch and or distort your transfer. Oh, look how cute that looks. Honeybee Farms. Love it. There we go. Hello, I just did two live videos. Yay! Oh, Lori, I am sure you did probably better than me. Remember, I'm just a mess. I just am good at showing you guys how to correct your mistakes because I seem to make them all the time. Okay. Now, I have a lot of people that always ask me about what I'm using to dry my my board here. Honestly, guys, if you have a hair dryer, that works just the same. Totally could use a hair dryer, okay? Now, let's come in with our sweet little honey pot, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is I am going to do the top part of the honey pot in the storm to make it look like it's a jar, and then I'm going to do the bottom part in the bumblebee. And then I'm going to try to slightly make it a little off center because I want to have the little, what is that called again? Hold on. What was that? Honey dipper. I'm going to have the honey dipper right there like this, leaning against it. 
So I'll, I just slightly made it a little off. Now let's just make sure I have no giant bubbles in here, which I can see that I do. Because it's a bigger open silk screen area, sometimes you will get bigger bubbles that you may not necessarily see. Did I even fuss this up? Well, we'll find out when I go to pull it up, won't we? <laughs> Uh, hi, Joyce. I know, me too, Lori. I am so pumped. Oh my gosh, I'm so pumped. Okay, so we're going to close up shop with the white chalk paste. Okay, let's get this closed up. Get that excess off your squee um, your stir stick and your squeegee. Save it for next time. I'm going to go ahead, put that over there. I need that out. Let's go ahead and let's get another stick for the storm to stir up. This looks like it's going to be a nice consistency. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, yes. That's perfect. Okay, now I'm going to use the small squeegee for this part just for adding. Because, like I said, it's just going to be up here. Down here, I'm going to get a squeegee to do all the, the bumblebee. Okay, so let's do this. Probably could have used a bigger squeegee here, Jess. Just saying. Okay. Got the storm on. Let's quickly come in with the bumblebee. And let's get this honey going. Now I'm going to try my best to not get into the storm, but you all know I'm super messy and it is highly unlikely that I won't get any of the gray in there. Let's just be real. Okay. Hopefully the storm did not dry on me. Oh, that looks so good. Can you guys see that? Oh, yes. That looks amazing. Love it. Love, love, love it. Let's dry it up. Turned out perfect. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. Now let's do our honey dipper. And fuzz it up. Fuzz it up. Okay, now I want to try to make it look like it's pooling. Like it's leaning and it's leaning against the jar. And that is not, that is down too, too far. That is a good height. Hold on, I gotta pull this a little closer. Sorry guys, so I can see what I'm doing. That looks perfect. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the marigold to kind of do the wand and then the bubble, the um, bumblebee I'll do there. Okay. To give some like shadow, if you will. Okay, now there's stirry stick. I'm gonna come in and I am gonna stir this up. Oh, that's so good. That consistency is perfect. Okay, let's get the storm closed up because we're done with that. We don't want it to dry out on us, right? Good to go. Okay. Uh, another little itty bitty small squeegee is all we need. Hi, Vicki Hunter. Thank you for sharing, Stacy. Uh, what color is that yellow? This yellow is Bumblebee. I'm going to be using Marigold and Bumblebee here. Um, thank you, Angela. I have to get a new storage for my paste today since I'm starting to collect colors again. I may try to do a live if I can figure out how to do it with all the fancy equipment. Oh, Judy, you totally can. I promise you. Um, Yes. Hi, Tammy. How are you, girl? Hey, Vicky. She needs... Oh, Vicky, I love you, girl. Hi. Uh, two Vickies came in at the same time. Hello, hello. All right, so let's go ahead and let's get the marigold 
Um, yeah, let's do Marigold. Why not? Right? Not entirely sure what color um, this is the, a Honey Dipper actually is. So I'm kind of taking a guess at it. And sticking my fingernail right in there. Great. Great job, Miss Wilson. Stop it right now. Okay, I'm dropping everything. Okay, hopefully this turns out the way I hope it does. We're going to see. Okay. Let's go ahead and pull it down. Take your time. You don't want to lift up the bee, bumblebee. And I think that turned out perfect. What do you guys think? Super cute, right? I love it. So we have, whoops. Oh, guys, I just realized that was hanging there. I'm so sorry. There we go. Sweeter than honey. Honeybee Farms. How cute does that look? My gosh. So adorable. Okay. Now, remember, once I'm all done with these, I have a ton of ribbon that is all bee-themed and just fun. Just, just fun. Um, I will add it and I will have a, obviously a finished picture um, once I have it all finished. Hi, Shannon. Hi, Peggy. Hi, Rhonda. Wood light in color. Whoopsie, are they? You know what I could do? Hold on. How about I add some fawn over that? Um, look great for it. Oh, good. Okay, that's gorgeous. Thanks. Oh, thanks, guys. Okay, maybe I won't. I'll keep it just the way it is then. I keep. I will keep it just the way it is. Oh, I love it. I love how bright this looks. It looks so cool with the contrast of the, the gray. Oh, that's perfect. Perfect. Okay, hold on. Let's get Marigold all closed up. Close up shop. Thank you, Katrina. Hi, Shannon. Thanks, Joyce. Thanks, Laura. Thanks, Barb. Thanks, Wendy. I hope I said hi. Thanks to everybody. Thanks, Lori. All right, let's come on back to me. I'm so glad you guys like this one. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, my goodness. I love it. And just wait. Like, there's a project that you guys aren't going to be able to see until it might be late Monday night. I'll have to just take a picture of it that I am doing that is all bee themed. Um, we have our couture tour, which is where Chalk Tour is coming to our area. Um, and they, we all the designers get together. Um, so ours is Monday night and we all get to do a project that we can enter to win um, a free uh, convention ticket. So I hope, um, I hope people... Will like the one that I do, but I can't show it until it's all done. But I promise you, it's going to go right along with our decor. I promise. Hi, Karen. Hi, Kristen. Uh, hi, Shannon. How are you? Thank you for sharing, Judy. I love it, too. Yay! All right, so let's chit-chat, guys. Let's talk. So if you are not a designer already, um, and but you are looking for a designer, if you're looking to make some purchases, if you just want to continue to follow for when you're ready, I would love to be your designer. I would also love to invite you into my VIP group. In my VIP group, I have tons of things going on at all times. I have special offers, bundle deals. I have a monthly chalk box subscription and I have over 400 chalk couture videos in my VIP group that will hopefully help to provide you with some inspiration. Um, if you're interested in getting into my VIP group, comment me down below and I will message you the link to my VIP group. If while you were watching this, you said, you know what? I could do what that girl does and I could probably do it better. Um, if you are looking to build your own empire and you are looking to create or generate additional income each month, maybe help put some money towards your monthly food shopping bill, a car payment, college tuition, um, ballet lessons or hockey practice or whatever your family may need um, or whatever you may need. 
If you are thinking about becoming a designer on my team, I would love to have you. I encourage you to comment and join down below and I'll message you the link to my opportunity group. In my opportunity group, I have a video that's about 20 to 25 minutes long that goes over every single thing that you would need to know about joining Chalk Tour and about joining my team. So if you're interested in either one of those, please comment below. Now, Club Couture, let's chat about that really quickly. If you are interested in getting the coolest club shipped to you every single month um, for only $19.99 and free shipping, comment Club Couture below. I'll message you the link. Or you could just look at the, the link that's down below. You will love it. It's the coolest club ever. You'll get a size B transfer that's valued at $14.99 and three chalk piece singles every single month delivered without fail on the fifth of the month you're billed and it is shipped you also have the ability when you first sign up to get the club couture kickstarter kit it's valued at over 76 dollars that you'll be able to add on for only 69.99 and includes that gorgeous aiden porcelain steel magnetic chalkboard that i was discussing earlier that chalkboard itself the board offers a 50-year warranty, so if anything should happen to it, Chalk Couture will replace the board for you. You'll also get one of our super cute board and bases. You will get a two-pack of board erasers, a small squeegee, a multi-tool, and that bright white, three ounce bright white chalk paste. Everything that you need to go ahead and make projects every single month with the Club Couture that's delivered to you. So, I think that is it. Hi, Lynn. Oh, Dom Marie, I wish you could too. That's where I'll be. There isn't one in Texas. But exactly, cat girl. You got convention in your backyard. That is awesome. Peg Boyer, you got it. I will message you that link as soon as I'm done. Hi, Megan. How are you, girl? Are you all recouped? Um, so I think that is it for tonight, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this project. I can't wait to hang this up. Um, I think it's gonna be so cute. Um it's just, it was, and you guys saw how easy that was, right? So um, I'm going to let you guys all go. I need to take Big Brand's temp again to make sure it's going down. Otherwise, if it is going up to the ER, we will go. Um, get the Kickstarter kit. Yes, exactly, Kat. You were so right. That Kickstarter kit is so worth it. Um, like I said, it's valued at over $76, and you get it for $69.99 plus shipping. It's super easy. But $19.99 every month with free shipping with, for a transfer and three chalk paste singles delivered to your door, that's a no-brainer. That is one of the cheapest clubs I've ever heard of, and there's so many things you can do. You know, the transfers are reusable over and over and over again. You're going to get enough chalk paste to complete a few projects. You will love it. Um, oh, I'm glad you love it, Peg. I'm so psyched. I will definitely message you that link. Um, Valerie, the convention is our Chalk Couture convention in June in Texas. Um, if you are a designer, check your email. You should have gotten information all about it tonight. If you're not a designer, we will be happy to tell you the information about it. Maybe you'll be able to come on over. Or maybe you'll be able to jump on board and come on to convention with us. Hi, Judy. How are you? Um, oh, I mean, Judy, I didn't mean to say that. I meant to say thank you so much, Judy. Not how are you? <laughs> I, don't, I mean, how are you? I hope you're good. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to let you guys go. I need to go take a make sure my hubby's doing okay. Um, and that is it. I will see you guys tomorrow night. Um, actually I may, oh yeah, tomorrow's Friday. Yes. Tomorrow, it'll be tomorrow evening. I will be back live with another project. So thanks for joining guys. I will talk to you later. Thank you so much, Joyce. I appreciate it. Talk to you guys later. Bye.